Owen and Robert in the morning. Welcome back, North Stars. Today we are here with Ben Freeman, one of our professional water polo players. Ben, what's it like going through your season? Uh, I'm I'm the best spiker in water polo. Um, we're we're three and zero on the season, and uh, we hope to win sectionals. Hope to win the section. Yeah. Liverpool got some great competition though. How do you feel about them? Uh, they suck. Uh, <laughs> CNS water polo has always been on top. All right, and we've also heard that you are a lover of turtles. Can you just tell us, like, what goes through a turtle's regular day? Uh, you know, they live mad long, so, like, you know, I just, I really am inspired by them. You know, they pursue all of their dreams. Ben, tortoise or turtle? Turtle. Frog or toad? Frog. Owen and Robert right in, in the, the morning. morning. Give me some CNS. Today is Monday, April 4th, 2022, and it is a D-Day. I'm, of course, Abby Files. And I'm Sam Klein. Good morning, everybody, and a happy Jersey Day for Spirit Week. Make sure tomorrow you participate and wear your Hawaiian gear. Good morning. I'm Chanel, co-president from PAC, and this is Monday's Mental Health Moment. Did you know practicing gratitude by writing down what we are grateful for increases our happiness and decreases our stress? Remember to be grateful and have a great day. Okay. <laughs> have you ever thought about a career in public safety? The Career Center is hosting a public safety career panel discussion being held this Tuesday, April 5th, which is tomorrow, in the CNS Library from 2.10 to 3 p.m. Areas represented are law enforcement, fire, 911 call center, ambulance, and EMT. Students will listen to experienced professionals talk about their careers in the past to get. Are you in there? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. In the paths to get there following a question and answer session with all of the participants. Students, please register with Mrs. Deaver in the Career Center or email at edeaver at nscsd.org. All right, take a deep breath there, Abby. <laughs> Students, do you need volunteer hours? How about a part-time job? Check out the Career Center website for open houses, career information, jobs, and volunteer opportunities. A representative from the Marines will be in the Student Center in Cafe One today during lunches. Stop by and learn all about the great career opportunities the Marine Corps has to offer. BOCES is offering a five-hour virtual class tomorrow. Students must have a permit, and the fee is $45. Register at ocmboces.org. The theme for the Positivity Project this week is Other People Matter, identifying and appreciating the good in everyone. People who possess this trait choose to see the good in others and are often attentive, appreciative, grateful, and patient. In order to see the good in others, you need to slow down and look at people's intentions. We often jump to conclusions and think the worst about a person or situation. Instead, stop and think about the perspective and choose to appreciate the good they have in them. Take time this week. If you notice yourself being negative, flip the script to make a conscious choice to focus on the positive. Well, isn't that just a wonderful way to start out on Monday morning? And speaking of positivity, here's my favorite big doozy on the sports. Hello. I wouldn't be wearing a jersey, but I was misinformed by Miss Klein. But anyway, the girls' varsity of the cross team split their games this weekend with a win over Penfield and a loss against Victor. Mackenzie Prentice and Brooke Molchanoff both contributed with three goals in the win, along with Francesca Tortora's two goals and six assists. The boys' of cross team won their first game against Bethlehem 11-7. Bethlehem K! Okay. But Mason Blakeman led with five goals, Ann Leahy led with four, with four, and the boys traveled to New Hartford next Thursday. Great start, gentlemen. CNS Baseball won two scrimmages on Saturday behind a powerful offensive outing. C.J. Cartier with a hit a clutch leadoff home run in Game 2. The boys play their first game, official game tomorrow at OCC versus West Hill. On Saturday, Kansas broke their expectations and routed Villanova by 16 points. On the other side of the bracket, Duke fell short to UNC with a score of 81-77. to UNC beat Coach K on his last, regular, on his last game of ever. 
<laughs> when Duke lost, America, when Duke loses, America wins. That's all for sports. Back over to you, Sam and Abby. Thanks, Deuce. My pleasure. <laughs> for lunch today, there will be pulled pork on a roll, Ooh. potato wedges, barbecue baked beans, and what I'm going to assume. It might be, it might be actually salad. But we're hoping for the freshest, freshest fruit. fruit. But I'm thinking it's a salad. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all for today. From the CNS Morning Show, I'm Abby Files. And I'm Sam Klein. Have an absolutely fantastic day, everybody. Oh. <laughs>